Hey guys, welcome back to Aurora Graphics. This is Grant Dorsey, and uh, this week we're going to be taking this digital camo and uh, sticking it on this metal area in this partial wrap here. And uh, hopefully we can get an effect that makes it look like it's actually painted on there. <clears throat> so uh, to begin this, again what we're going to do is make a duplicate of our image like we always like to do. And then I'm going to duplicate this layer and turn off the original. In fact, I'm just going to name it original. And the first thing that we want to do is go in here and separate all the pieces that we don't want to be camo from the pieces that we do. And uh, that's pretty simple. Essentially, I'm going to take my marquee tool here, come into one of these bolts. It's best if you, if you zoom in nice and tight. That way you can make sure your selection is exactly where you need it to be. And... Uh, Instead of trying to, to make your circle exactly the right size of this bolt, just go ahead and get a decent sized circle, a little bigger than what it needs to be, and then you can right click the selection and click transform selection. And if you hold shift, it'll actually keep it a perfect circle as you shrink it down. And I like to use the edges right here as a guide to come right in on the bolt. If you notice, you don't even have to hold shift. You can just bring the edges to the edge and now you've got a perfect circle around it and uh, make sure we're on the correct layer and then we're just going to delete these. And each time we come to one, like I'm holding shift and alternate at the same time when I'm doing this and that's how I'm getting the circle to stay perfectly round and also drag out from the center. It's a technique that helps you out a little bit. Wow, that landed perfect. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I got quite a few bolts going on around here, so I'm going to go ahead and time lapse through me deleting all these, and I'll get back with you. Okay guys, you can see I'm down to these last couple of bolts here, and uh, if you look here, we've, we've got them actually hidden behind this front piece of metal, so uh, making a perfectly round selection area is not going to work. So what we'll do is we'll come in here and grab our lasso tool, and if you hold the alternate key, you see we get a little minus sign there next to the cursor. That allows you to subtract from your selection. So if you hold shift, it'll, whoops, it'll, if you hold shift, it'll show you a, a plus sign. If you hold alternate, it'll show you a subtraction so we'll subtract from the selection just like that hit delete and move on down the line make another circle Oops. my photoshop's kind of spazzing out on me I think I'm overloading it with these full-size files and come back with our lasso tool hold alternate or alt I can't remember what it is on the Mac, but it's the same, same position on the keyboard um, as the Alt key. So the next step is going to be to use the uh, lasso tool here and go ahead and cut out all of the section of this center of the American flag. And you guys may notice that I keep switching back and forth to the hand tool so I can pan across the image. If you hold the uh, space bar down, it'll actually switch you to the hand tool and then as soon as you release it it gives you back your other tool and this actually works while you're you're uh, using the tool so like if I'm in the middle of a selection area like here and I run out of screen I just hold the spacebar down click and drag then release the spacebar and now we can begin our selection again so that's I click hold the spacebar drag click hold the spacebar drag and uh, we're just going to make it all the way around this image. The, uh, you notice I got off a little bit there. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and complete this selection. If we can get down here faster, that'll be better. And uh, 
So now we've got the beginning of our selection. And I like to do this, uh, especially when you have a really large selection area to make, is go ahead and piece it together. Don't try to make the entire selection area all at once because uh, the odds of you not you know, double clicking, which you know, will close the loop of your selection or something like that, you can, you can very easily mess it up, especially if you're making vehicle templates and stuff. So um, you can see I raised up off the line. And that's the other reason for zooming way in here like this. So again, we'll hold shift, get down in here at a proper angle to come back into this line. And then we're just gonna continue going. So uh, I'll go ahead and complete this selection area here and then we'll start a time lapse. Okay, now that we've got our selection area around the entire edge of the American flag area, you can see I followed it pretty close. And uh, again, whenever you're making these selection areas and trying to get real accurate, you definitely want to zoom in to where you can start to see the actual individual pixels. Um, and that way you know you're hitting exactly right where you, where you need to. So uh, the next step is just going to be to delete that center out of the, the main layer. And so now you can see we're left with just the metal pieces here. And if we turn on our original in the back, you can see all the bolts come back through and whatnot. So uh, next thing we're going to do is go ahead and grab our digital camo here and just drag it up into the window. You see all my stuff is disappearing. I'm definitely overloading the machine. So uh, next thing we're going to do is hold down control. Like you, um, I don't know if anybody of you might have seen the first video you hold down control and click this layer and it'll actually load selection on it or you can select that layer and then click select load selection and uh, then we're going to move back to our digital camo layer and you'll see if I mouse over this and hold still it might pop up no nope. well that's a layer mask and uh, so you see when I click that we had this selected and so it created a mask for just that selected area and next thing we're going to do is come in here and switch our blending mode. So now you can see we're starting to get a nice look there. I've changed the, uh, the blending mode here to overlay. And you can see that the highlights are a little bit too light. The, the dark spots look pretty good, but the highlights are a little bit too light. So under image adjustments, we're going to come in here and go to the levels. And uh, I'm going to grab this lower slider here. And you can see the whites going away off the digital camo. And uh, so you can play with that and adjust the highlights depending on how exactly you want it to look. But there, I'm, I don't really like this area too much. I'm going to take a little bit more out. And uh, once you like it, you click OK. And uh, there's our digital camo print cut graphic. Uh, this can actually be done with just about any texture um, with any selection area you know the, there's several different decals that uh, we have that have giant shiny metallic looking pieces like this or uh, even if they look painted or something like that you can go in there and select them and then add a pattern to it or you know completely delete that area if you if you'd like to add something else um, we could also since we've got this nice open selected area we could have used that to insert something else besides the checkered flag if we if we so chose, or excuse me, the American flag, uh, such as a checkered flag. Anyways, uh, that does it for this week. Uh, thank you guys for joining us, and uh, if you wouldn't mind, hit the subscribe button below, and uh, we'll be getting a new video out as soon as we can. Thanks.